Let's talk about the three places I love using a straight stitch throat plate for. So we're working on the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition, and a lot of these are quilting techniques that a straight stitch throat plate can help perfect the final results of these techniques. So number one, this is an optional accessory. So do head to your Bernina store, tell them which model you have. You have the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition, so they can get you the straight stitch throat plate that matches your machine. Next, before I even attempt to put this on, I always tell the machine when it's on. Then that way the machine or I cannot select a zigzag stitch and break a needle. So this is actually what you need to do is touch the little symbol for the nine millimeter throat plate. And it is also where we would set up for say twin needle. Of course, twin needles and straight stitch throat plates don't don't work together, but just come right down here on the bottom and choose zero millimeters. And here, let me show you what it actually does. So let's say we are picking a zigzag. You get a zigzag, but you get a straight stitch version. If I try to make it a zigzag, it will not let me do that at all. So you get all straight stitches. And this is a common thing when people put it on, they forget and they're like, why can't I do any decorative stitches? Well, if it's yellow, remember that's been activated. The other thing nice is that this machine will remember that you have activated that uh, when you turn the machine off. So tomorrow when you turn it back on, you, this will have not cleared out. This will be remembered until you manually go and put it back to nine millimeters. That's why that little yellow star is there to remind you where the normal setting is. Of course, if you take it off, both here, make sure you take it off the machine as well. So that's how you get it set up. I love it for straight stitching and because it just keeps the needle totally going through the only place it can go through. So you notice that on your throat plate for the zigzag stitches, the extra wide decorative stitches, there's a little bit of movement for that needle to kind of shift from side to side. And this is going to totally stabilize it for the most perfect accurate stitch. The other time I'll usually use it is when I'm quarter inch piecing. So if you've ever taken a triangle and sewed from corner to corner or a square and sewed from corner to corner, sometimes that corner like dives into your throat plate. Well, if you have a straight stitch throat plate on with just that single hole, there's not much room for that fabric to get plunged in there. Totally solves that entire kind of issue that we sometimes run into. Of course, make sure you're using a sharper needle like a quilting needle like a Microtex needle and that will also assist with that. Here's a little other trick. If you're ever putting this foot on, which is your 97 foot, this is the one that came with this machine. If you set your machine to the center um, zero millimeter throat plate option, even if you don't put this on, it will make sure you never um, zigzag with this foot on, which is actually another kind of side secret uh, to do. So just, you can do it when you put this foot on, and of course do it, of course, when you put the straight stitch throat plate on. Okay, two more reasons I will use a straight stitch throat plate. Uh, second is with the Bernina stitch regulator, also came with this machine. So that's all the free motion quilting you see like on our Stitching Cosmos online courses. Um, I do like to quilt up all my quilts. I do use the Bernina stitch regulator, and I do use a straight stitch throat plate. So when I hit all these places where there's lots of thicknesses, I mean, this is like a mountain in here. It's all the decorative stitches. It's this little piece of bias um, binding that we did on the bias binder block. And there's a lot of thicknesses, but it didn't matter when I went to kind of stitch and create my own pattern and kind of move myself from block to block. It totally stabilizes the needle. I am a fan of top stitch needles when I am free motion quilting. So that is key. Now, for those of you with embroidery machines, just go ahead and put a straight stitch throat plate on when you embroider. It is so much nicer to stitch. Your machine is gonna love you. It's just gonna act so much smoother. And that would be the third place I would use a straight stitch throat plate. So head over. You do have to buy this separately. It is worth it. Um, and then it totally is at your fingertips when you're doing one of these three techniques.